Hey, it's great to be with you again today. Um, uh, how's everybody enjoying the snow? Uh, did you go out and make like a snowman or snow bunnies or uh, a fort and have a snowball fight and all that stuff? Yeah, guess guess what I did? Uh, I, yeah, shoveled. Good times. Good time. I, I want to tell you, there are very few things that uh, in my life uh, that I enjoy less than shoveling snow. Uh, but, you know, it's something that we have to do, right? There's, there's things in our lives that when it comes up, uh, even if we enjoy it or not, we have to uh, get down and dirty and do it, you know? Sometimes, you know, things happen at our house and, and we've got to fix stuff and sometimes snowstorms come or, or hurricanes or there's a flood and, you know, we got to get knee deep in goo, right? It's just no fun. You guys like my hat? My wife says look like I, I look like a Mardi Gras head with this hat on. She said, your head looks huge. I digress. Uh, but don't we have to do things like that in our lives sometimes? We got we to gotta do things that we don't want to do. And I look at that in my faith life. And sometimes, you know, we have to do things in our faith life that we don't really want to do. You know, we have to confront some negative behavior in our life that is affecting our faith and, and we have to deal with it. Sometimes our family or our friends are going through issues that are tough, man. They're, they're rough. They're, they, we don't want to deal with it. We don't want to go into uh, that addiction or that relational issue or that financial problem and, and get involved in it because it's painful, right? We don't want to be involved in the family uh, that we love and all of a sudden we're dealing with a death and it's it's painful but we need to be there we need to listen we need to be present and go through the grieving with that family member it's things that we don't want to do but it's things that as we go through them and we we get involved we we start to learn how to deal with things like that we we start to turn it over to God and ask Him to use us as we go through those issues and those problems that we are prepared for the next time. The next time some friend or family member goes through some horrific thing or some trouble and they're, they're having issues dealing with it, God has prepared us to help them walk through it. Because as we've walked through it with God, God will also be with us as we walk through it with them. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen? Amen. Let's get to shoveling.